Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain how to work out the acute angle between two lines. Okay, so let's title this acute angle between two lines. So in this case, let me explain. So if we're given uh, two lines, so let me call them L1 and L2. So if L1 is given by R is equal to uh, A1 plus lambda M1. And if I have a second line L2, if L2 is given by R is equal to A2 plus mu, M2. Okay, so let's have a diagram also. So if I have two lines like so, so here is L1 and this is L2. So I'm going to give you a result in order to work out the angle between the lines. So I'll call that angle theta. Okay. And this is the result to work out the acute angle. The word acute, remember, is an angle between uh, 0 and 90. Okay? So, in order to work out the acute angle theta between the lines L1 and L2, okay, the formula is cos theta and that is equal to the absolute so it's the absolute of m1 dot m2 divided by the modulus of m1 times the modulus of m2 okay so this line means absolute and these are moduluses okay so this is the moduli and this is absolute okay so this formula remember enables you in order to work out the acute angle between two lines and as you can see from the formula it only depends on the direction vectors of the lines so remember these two vectors here and here these are your direction vectors so it only depends on the direction vectors it's not dependent on the position vectors of the fixed points on your line okay so what you could do is could highlight that result so let me show you how this result is applied but before doing that let me give you a note okay so here's a note supposing if m1 dot m2 is 0 if m1 dot m2 is 0 so remember in the previous video, if we work out the scalar product and if the result is zero, that means that your vectors are perpendicular to one another, okay? So in this case, if the scalar product of the direction vectors is equal to zero, that implies that your two lines are perpendicular, okay? So let me make that note known. So if m1 dot m2 is equal to zero that means that your lines are perpendicular to one another so lines are perpendicular okay so that ends this video I hope you found this video helpful um, in the next video I'll go through some examples uh, in order to show you how this result is applied. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.